Shalom. Give me all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakadash. Shalom to all the Akiyam out there, pushing the truth and sincerity to the four corners of the earth, to the awful elect. Double honors unto the apostles and, and elders that the Most High set to teach the truth so that we all can learn. Shalom. Um, I wanted to do a video quick, you know, because I basically I was at work today. I'm at work at the moment, you know. And me and my stepfather was having a little conversation about, you know, a, a man, you know, has his wife and his kids. And then he came out saying that he's, he's a homosexual, you know, and he's left his wife and his kids to, to deal with men. And basically we're talking about how wicked and evil this place is. And, you know, they're, they're basically going against the order, the order that the Most High has set up on the earth, you know. The natural way of living, you know, man to woman to produce and multiply the earth, you know, so... My stepfather brought up the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, how we got mashed up and burned down. So, you know, I was having a conversation. I found it quite interesting, you know. So, you know, I said I wanted to do a quick video on it, you know. I'm going to read Genesis 19. Basically, I'm going to read um, a bit of how Sod about, about Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, with Lot and his family. So, you can read from, you can start reading from Genesis 1 because, you know, it's very interesting. But I'm going to start from... Um, I'm going to start from, I'm going, uh, okay, that's, I'm going too far down. I'm going to start from verse 24, all right? Well, basically, in a quick nutshell, it's basically two angels came to Lot, letting him know that he's going to, you know, destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, so he should get his family and get out. You know, that, that's basically the whole, a quick summary of it from verse 1. You can read it yourself. Um, verse 20, verse 23, verse 23. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zohar. So basically, Zohar is the city that Lot went to after he came out of Sodom and Gomorrah, you know. Because basically, you, um, the Lord basically told Lot to go into the mountain. But he was basically saying, you know, you know, go into the mountain, I may die. If I go to the city, you know, I may, you know, I may um, save my soul. So, you know, he was allowed to by the Lord. So basically, verse 24. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. Because Sodom and Gomorrah was a very abominable place you know men was having sex with men women having sex with women it was bestiality people having sex with um, um animals you know there was orgies and sex parties and all of these disgusting things going on you know and that's against the the order that the most i set up on the earth so he destroyed it you know with fire and brimstone you know and he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the city and that which grew upon the ground. So everything in Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed. The people, them, them food, them plants, them buildings, them, everything got burned onto the ground. Yeah. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. Lot's wife, basically, what that is saying is she was yearning to go back to Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, she was missing all the luxury she had. She was missing all of the the good because she the, their family was well off in Sodom and Gomorrah you know they had quite a lot of properties you know they had servants and you know I'm guessing so you know they were living a life of luxury you know so she probably missed she was missing all of the riches and the royal living that she was having so you know she was basically missing and yearning to go back to that wicked dirty evil place and the Lord was upset with her about that so she got turned into a pillar of salt you know and 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 even in this time, when Yahweh Shai comes back to destroy this whole place, like come on man, we can't we we can't be in the world when Yahweh Shai comes back. Like there are people in the truth, you know, there's brothers in the truth, you know, that sacrifice a lot of things to be. For example, me, I'm new in this truth. Before this, I was an aspiring dancer artist, you know. I was doing quite well, you know. If I stayed in there, probably would have so-called success this year or something. But, you know, I've sacrificed it all because that don't mean nothing. This truth is everything. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is everything. Because this place is going to get destroyed and my music career is going to get destroyed with it. Any riches that, that I may have obtained in the process would, would, would have got destroyed with it. Everything would have got destroyed with it. This whole materialistic vanity that everyone's chasing is going to get destroyed. And it ain't going to mean nothing when Yahweh Shai come back. You know, so 
it's basically this story basically telling me that I shouldn't be yearning for worldly things. I shouldn't be wishing and hoping that I was that I'm I'm I, I'm back in the world, but doing all of the foolishness I was doing because it's just not gonna work. You know, you have to give your hundred and fifty thousand percent to your Hawabash in your shy because your Hawabash in your shy is not of the world. You know, the world is the complete opposite to your Hawabash in your shy. You know. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Luke 17. You know, just got, I just wanna make it a bit quick. You know, I'm not trying to stay too long. I've got to go go back in in a few minutes. Um, I'm on the the plantation right now, so I'm gonna read um from verse 29. No, from verse from verse 25. But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of the generation. Okay. I'll start from verse 26 here. And as it was in the day of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the son of man. So in the days of Noah, same way it's going to be, you know. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. So basically, the script is saying in the days when Yahweh shall come back. People are going to be doing the same thing that they were doing in the times of Noah. People are going to be drinking, smoking, partying, you know. Man are going to be fucking man, woman are going to be fucking woman, you know. People are going to be eating pork, having uh, having all of these dirty RG parties and doing all of the nastiness. People are just going to be living in their own world. And when Yahweh shall come back home, mash up the whole place, that's when, they, that's when they're going to realize, you know. And the thing is, these same people... A lot of them, if not most of them, if not all of them, has heard the word of the Lord, you know. They probably have come across the prophets sometime when they were in the highways and the byways pushing forth this truth and they rejected it, you know. They loved the word too much, you know. And in that time, same thing with Noah. Noah was one and everybody. When Noah was one, everybody bought the flood. Nobody took heed. They kept, went back into doing what they normally do anyway. And they got destroyed. It's the same thing. Time, the same thing that's gonna happen when Yahweh shall come back, man, with the angels and the chariots, you know. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, man, Sodom it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. So it's the same way with Sodom and Gomorrah. Same way with Noah in the ark. It's the same way it's gonna be in that time. When Yahweh shall come back to burn down this whole thing, to mash up this whole thing. You understand? Verse 30. Even though shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed, see? Same way it's going to be. So, especially for me, I'm using the story of Noah and the story of Lot. You know? To, to, to help me to stay strong in this thing, man. Not to care about what the world thinks, what the world wants to see me as, all the things, all the, oh, what if I'd done the music, how would it have been this? You know, even recently, I've had people, um, people that have done collaborations with, you know, um, music, you know, musically, like, say, two years ago, last year, or when, whenever, you know, um, calling me, oh, you want to do that music video? And I'm explaining to them, no, bro. You know, I'm not doing I'm not doing it anymore, you know. I've stopped doing music and you know, since I've decided to come into this truth, you know, like many times people have been trying to drag me back into the world, you know. But, you know, with the help of Yahweh Bahashim Yahwashai, Tawada Yahweh Bahashim Yahwashai, you know, and hopefully he's still there to help me to stay strong, you know. Cause I can't be thinking about what this world has to offer me, because all this all everything that the world up to offer me is vanity. It's gonna get destroyed when Yahweh shall come back. You know. In that day, he which shall be upon the house top and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. So listen. <coughs> in that time, yeah. Don't be think. Don't be thinking about your Ferrari you park up in your garage. Don't be thinking about your PS5 with the, with, with the FIFA 2000 and whatever year it is that you didn't even get to play, okay? Don't think about the food that you cook, the curry goat and the, 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 the rice and peas with the cold slap and the slide where you never get to eat. Don't think about all of that, bro, because all of that ain't going to mean jack shit. 
Verse 32, remember Lot's wife, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. You know? Come on, man. You know? You may say, remember Lot's wife. So even me, like today, I'm, use, I'm going to use Lot's story in Sodom and Gomorrah to help me stay strong. Anytime I feel like, you know, I'm having little doubts or anything, just remember the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Just remember Lot's wife thinking about everything that she had and everything that she could be doing in Sodom and Gomorrah. And then she turned a pillar of salt. I should also think about that. If I stop and turn back and go back into the wicked world, I'm going to dead. Remember Lot's wife. Remember Lot's wife. This is what I'm going to call this this um this video. Remember Lot's wife. You know? And this 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 lesson even for me is very important for me. I'm 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 saying it right now, but this is for me hundred percent. You know. One thing we need to do, we need to fear the most high. We need to fear the most high. That's one thing I've come to the realization. So the most high don't the Yahweh Bash in our is not messing around. There's so much thing going on. We need to fear the most high. Fuck what this world have to offer. Fear the most high. And this is for me 100 percent as well. As for anybody that needs to hear this. Remember Lot's wife. You know? Fear the most high. With that, I'm going to say all oh, praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rukha Kadash, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? Till next time, I'm going to say Shalom.